A Little Golden Book, Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Many strange legends are told of the jungles of far off India. They speak of Bagheera the Black Panther and of Baloo the Bear. They tell of Ka the Sly Python and the Lord of the Jungle, the Great Tiger, Shere Khan. But all these legends, none is so strange as the story of a small boy named Mowgli. A child left all alone in the jungle was found by Bagheera the Panther. Bajara could not give the small helpless man cub care and nourishment, so he took to the boy to the den of the wolf family with young cubs of their own. That is how it happened that Mowgli, as a man cub, came to be called, was raised among wolves. Mowgli had lived with the wolves for ten years when the wolf pack called a meeting at Council Rock. As you know, says Akela, the leader of the pack, Shere Khan, the tiger, has returned. If he learns that our pack is harboring a man cub, danger will be doubled for all of our families. The man cub can no longer stay with the pack. Out of the shadows, step Bajera, the panther. Perhaps I can help, said Bajera. I know of a man village where he'll be safe. So it was arranged, and when the greenish light of the jungle morning slipped through the leaves, Jera and Mowgli set out. All day they walked, and when night fell, they slept on a high branch of a giant banyan tree. All this seemed like an adventure for Mowgli, but when he learned that he was to leave the jungle, he was horrified. No, cried Mowgli, I want to stay in the jungle. I am not afraid. I can look out for myself. He slipped on a length of trailing vine and ran away. Mowgli soon met a bumbling bear named Baloo. Baloo played games with Mowgli and taught him to live a life of ease. There were coconuts to crack, bananas to peel, and sweet, juicy pawpaws to pick from jungle trees. Colonel Haiti, the proud old leader of the elephant herd, tried to train young Mowgli in military drills as he led his troops. Trumpeting down the jungle trails, Mowgli was having such fun in the jungle but the jungle was dangerous. Sly old Ka the python would have loved to squeeze Mowgli tight in his coils. But Shere Khan the tiger was the real danger to Mowgli. That was because Shere Khan, like all tigers, had a hatred of man. There were other dangers too. One day, Baloo and Mowgli were enjoying a dip in the jungle river. Suddenly, down swooped the monkey folk. They snatched Mowgli from the water before Baloo knew what was happening. They tossed him through the air from hand to hand and swung away with him through the trees. Off in the jungle, Bajera heard Mowgli's cry and came with a leap and a bound. The monkeys have carried him off, grasped Baloo. Bajera and Baloo raced to the ruined city where the monkeys made their home. They found Mowgli a prisoner of the Monkey King. Teach me the secret of man's red fire, the monkey king ordered Mowgli, so I can be like you. It took quite a fight for Jera and Baloo to rescue Mowgli. Look, Mowgli, said Baloo, I gotta take you to the man village. But alas, the boy would not listen. He kicked up his heels and ran away again. This time, his wanderings led him to the high grass, where Shere Khan lay waiting, smiling in a hungry smile. When Mowgli caught sight of the tiger, Shere Khan asked, Well, man cub, aren't you going to run? But Mowgli did not have the wisdom to be afraid. Why should I run, he asked, staring at Shere Khan, as the tiger gathered himself to pounce. You don't scare me. That foolish boy growled Bajera, who had crept close just in time to hear Mowgli. Both Bajera and Baloo flung themselves among the lord of the jungle to save Mowgli once more. They were brave and strong, but the tiger was mighty a toot and claw. There was a flash of lightning, and a dead tree nearby caught fire. Mowgli snatched the burning branch and tied it to Shere Khan's tail. The tiger, terrified, ran away. Mowgli was very pleased with himself as he strutted between the two 
weary warriors, Bajera and Baloo. A little later, Mowgli reached the man village. From ahead came a sound he did not know. He peeked through a bush. It was the song of a village girl who had come to fill her water jug. As he listened to the soft notes of her song, Mowgli felt that he must follow the girl. He crept up to the path to the village, drawn by the girl and her song. Blue and Bajera watched the boy's small figure as long as it could be seen. When Mowgli vanished inside the village gate, Bajera sighed a deep sigh. It was bound to happen, he said. Mowgli is where he belongs now. Music